Hey everybody, Tom Scarella. Hey, uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about some different aspects of the traveling ministry. I think it's you're going to enjoy it and it's going to be a little bit funny, <laughs> uh, but some other different aspects. And so I think you'll enjoy it. Do me a quick favor, right below me, subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, give us a big thumbs up. It helps the algorithms get out there and people to see us. There are different aspects of the traveling ministry. Many people only see the prayer ministry, the miracles, the preaching and teaching in various different venues and countries and even on television preaching. They don't always see the total changed lives and the dying and the sick that have been carried to the meetings from the four corners of the earth, the lame walking, the dying raised up, broken lives restored, and families restored and healed. There's also some practical things such as working with book table materials, meeting new friends and lifelong friends from all over the different parts of the country, different parts of the world, some more prominent ministries and some not as prominent, but incredibly powerful. There's also the part of the ministry where we go back to studying the Word and putting together messages and, and teachings and trainings and God speaking. You know, many people don't know much about the traveling ministry and obviously part of it is studying the word and praying and getting you know the mind of the Lord to share what you have on your heart and stuff but that's just part of it that's not all of it obviously and so some of it is, is studying the word and prayer and stuff but other times it's uh, it's some other things as well and some admin things Hey there, Pastor uh, Tom Scarella, just trying to get back with you. Um, yeah, if you're available, uh, give me a call. Love to catch up with you about some of the stuff we were talking about. Yeah, sure, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> All right, blessings. So, yeah, so part of the traveling ministry, obviously, is the preparation and the prayer ministry and stuff like that, as far as and praying and really just getting the heart of the Lord, what, you know, you're going to be doing. And then, but the one part of the traveling ministry, many people don't see is the admin part. They don't see the scheduling. They don't see the previous emails to send out for connecting with new churches or or confirming uh, dates with uh, you know scheduled churches and stuff, and so they don't see that stuff. So consequently, they don't they think, oh, you just lay around, pray all day, and stuff like that. Or, or sometimes pastors will think, oh, you evangelists, you just kind of wheel in, wheel out. You don't have to deal with these different things. But you know, it's really not true. That the traveling ministry really is uh, very very different, and we just deal with different things. Um, we even have a course called How to Start a Traveling Ministry, and you can go there to uh, uh, ministrytraininginstitute.com, and you can go there and you can see all about how to really get started in the traveling ministry, and so you can see that if you're interested. Um, but in the traveling ministry, we do a lot more admin than I did when I was a pastor. I was a pastor about eight years. So, you know, the pastoral ministry really um, is more dealing with people uh, and people problems and stuff. In the evangelistic ministry, it's a little bit different. So the pastoral ministry is a little bit different in this, is that the pastoral ministry, you deal more with, you know, people problems and people issues and stuff. And in evangelists, we tend to deal with more pastor problems or with uh, more admin issues. And so whether it's website, social media, whether it's follow-up, and, and, and whether it's preparation, posters, and all that stuff, it's like, ah, uh, so people don't see that kind of stuff. But that's a huge part of the traveling ministry, and many people don't like that part, especially most itinerants don't like calling and rescheduling and putting things together and stuff, and they just want God to just do it. 
Does, oh God, just somehow speak to him. Oh Lord, just speak to him. And God, you know, God's just going to wake him up out of a dead sleep to call you. Oh, you know, that's, that's just not realistic. Okay. It's just, that's not real. That's not real life. And so, um, but anyways, so we love you guys. Bless you. You know, some guys, they uh, 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 have misconceptions about ministry in general. And so I know some of you watching this, you have a, a real passion. You have a real passion for ministry. And so that's why we started Ministry Training Institute. So you can go there if you're interested, ministrytraininginstitute.com. And we have tons of stuff in there, uh, all kinds of different courses. I think we've got about 11 or 12 courses now. And uh, you can go there and, and take each individual course. It'll really bless you. So pray this blessed you today. You know, there's that old meme that says what people think I do, what my mom thinks I do, uh, you know, and, and I've even seen some, you know, regarding what pastors think I do, uh, what the congregation thinks I do, and then here's what I really do. And, and so I had to laugh. I thought, wow, I thought, man, that's so true of a traveling ministry.